what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel i have been grinding in this call of duty cold war multiplayer trying to complete these weapons challenges with the hopes of actually finding something that i like about the game however it hasn't really been a good time to be completely honest however before i even jump into any of that i don't want to get too far into it i just want you guys to do me a favor like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and definitely leave me a wonderful comment down below that all being said I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this Let, let's talk about some call of duty let's talk about cold war as it currently stands first and foremost i really want to put out there that i hope everyone out there has a very merry christmas and i hope that you all out there get all the goodies that you want from santa or via someone else's credit card or their own misfortune either way it works out for me as long as you get what you want i really do hope that you achieve that goal if you do however get a chance to get your yourself on to Call of Duty Cold War before Christmas comes, do definitely enjoy the current double tier XP that is in effect. So if you have the battle pass or you just like grinding it out, definitely jump on there. I've been doing it and have been enjoying it definitely because I just unlocked the MAC-10. So I'll definitely be using that and leveling that up. So I'm looking forward to that. But that being said, again, happy holidays to everybody out there. Let's be real for a moment when it comes to 2020. 2020 has not been a very good year. It's been a terrible year, plain and simple. We lost good people from the world the pandemic rages on the next gen console fiasco is currently going on and it's not in any shape form getting hit any better moving into the first quarter of next year but at least we can close out this year strong and hopefully on a positive note unfortunately though i do have to address the elephant in the room when it comes to call of duty this game call of duty cold war is sorry it is a sorry excuse of the game and i truly believe that they should shouldn't have even put their name on this. I think they should have just took the hit and waited another year. But hold on, hold on. Before you go ahead and click off, just so you know, this isn't going to be another skill-based matchmaking criticism style video. It's more like an honest opinion from a true fan of the series. That said, if you are gifted the game, great. If you catch it at a major discount, okay, still grab it. However, otherwise, just go ahead and stand clear of it and all of its foolery that comes along with it. it it's not worth it. It's not worth the money. Money, go play something else. I'm sure there is other avenues out there that are better when it comes to first person shooters. Destiny 2, Battlefield, etc. Go ahead and check it out. Even Warzone is free. Just download that and you'll get your Call of Duty fixed that way. Don't spend your money here. It's not worth it. I'm going to be completely honest. I play the game. I've invested in the game because I'm a true fan of the series and I'll always support it. However, if you're just going to jump on here, save yourself a lot of frustration and just go ahead and buy something else. Put your money somewhere else. Moving on though, I don't really blame Treyarch when it comes to the game because let's be completely honest when it comes to this game this isn't a fully back Treyarch game in fact a lot of people don't know this but this is an unfinished sledgehammer game with basically a Treyarch coat of paint slapped over it towards the end of its development so knowing that Treyarch I, I still hold you responsible because your name is on this shit and you chose to put your name on this shit hence you are shit definitely when it comes to this but nevertheless if you are expecting this game to get any better it's not i can already tell you this is it this is the meta this is what we're going to get they're going to continue to add content to it but the hard ideals the hard engine that drives the game is broken is hardwired into the game a patch can't save this they'd have to redo the whole thing and they're not doing that so let's just go ahead and suck it up buttercup because that's what we have and this is actually where we're at till the next game that is furthermore if you are on the game and you're expecting some influx of of Christmas news as we all do every year around this time. I'm sorry to say, don't even get your hopes up. Skill-based matchmaking is currently in effect, so you will not run into any of these wonderful noobs. In fact, we'll all be suffering together and the noobs will be in their own little pocket protected lobby, only accessible if you have some sort of reverse boosted account or you know a Timmy no thumbs that are terrible at the game to get you into these lobbies under false pretenses. There will be no day one reckoning no day to beast on those that don't know the map don't know how to play or any of that only a day of grinding against those that fear the outside world and the warmth and breath of a woman you know just like it is like right now you know how sweaty it is right now yeah it'll just keep going you won't get any christmas noob so i'm gonna go ahead and let you down i'm gonna tear up that band-aid extremely hard right now so that we all know what we're getting moving forward and don't get our hopes up basically however if you are still like me and are holding some sort of hope that 
that something will happen to make this game playable fear not my friend the mac 10 has arrived and it is really good both in warzone and in the multiplayer now the gameplay you're watching isn't of me beasting with it because i'm currently grinding for these dark matter challenges but just so you know i do know of its power and will hopefully get to use it before a wonder patch comes out and destroys all the fun to be had with it i'm looking forward to it and i'm gonna get to it as quickly as i can currently i think i'm just about done with the um assault rifle so i should have those diamonds and i get to switch over to the uh submachine guns i like to do it in order that's just the way i do it i just do it by order of gun so you know how that goes i'll get there when i get there i need something to get me to play cold war and that's going to be exactly what it is moving on though a lot of the community is also upset because activision and the boys my devs out there are currently in the process of phasing out modern warfare with the exception of warzone of course it is true this is a thing and it's currently happening because that's exactly how activision does things where have you been have you been under a rock they do this all the time they just released a shit game so what do you think they're gonna do they're gonna market that shit game the best way possible to monetarily gain as much as they can from the masses realize that it is a shit game and finally join me on another year of warzone because it's free that being said i just mentioned it i'm going to be playing another year of warzone don't be upset about that and don't think that i'm upset about that warzone is dope and they actually did strike gold when they did that and let's be fair warzone is actually better than cold war and modern warfare and i have no issues with saying that with full confidence if you have a different opinion let me know down in the comment section i would love to hear from you however that being said i do really want to like this game i really want to like cold war and still do hold on to a small bit of hope that it is actually going to get better it probably won't to be honest but that's the point of hope i guess i'm going to keep on hoping hopefully they have a mass overhaul and the game is awesome afterwards like they did for ww2 again don't hold your breath on that one because i don't think that's actually going to happen moving right along here there is a lot of reused content when it comes to call of duty cold war and i don't really have a problem with this per se because it does play on the nostalgia and brings pleasant memories back of when the game was actually pretty good and when it was nice and fun it was broken then as well a lot of people don't remember that but i definitely do remember it was broken then as well but it was fun and that was the point the fun factor was there and that what i think is actually missing with the more modern call of duties that fun factor they're catering to a certain style of play they're catering to a certain style of player but back in the day that wasn't the case they just created a game and if you were good you were good if you found an exploit good for you but otherwise it was still fun nevertheless reusing content isn't new but it has become basically the new meta for activision and if you think about this game versus all the other call of duty it's definitely on display here there are reused prestige logos calling cards emblems weapons maps etc my data miners out there even found out that now they have master crafts that are coming out that will probably also be reused assets from previous games what i'm saying is activision have found a way to make money on items they've already made money on this is literally just capitalism at its best gg's to activision for this move they're making money the best way they know how at the expense of creativity innovation etc the point is that if you truly look at this game for what it truly is look past the reused content and all the bs associated with skill-based matchmaking you'll actually be able to truly see that this game doesn't have a lot of innovative content within it and it's truly unfinished at its core i believe this is why activision and them boys are always trying to hype up a new playlist or a map or a weapon because they know that the game is basically on borrowed time all this came about because of developers sledgehammer games decided to leave the fold mid-development they couldn't finish the game they rolled out and left Activision, left Treyarch, left Raven Software, holding the bag basically. And of course, Activision being the top tier that they are, they said it. Either you guys are going to finish it or we're not producing it. We're not giving you any money moving forward. You guys better do something. Hence, Treyarch stepped up. Here we are. I truly believe that this is sad. I don't think that this is the best way to do things moving forward. However, I did want to jump on here and talk to you guys about this because I understand. Like, I can see what's happening with this game. I can see the 
flaws. I can see where they were going, where it not finished at all. Look at the guns, look at the graphics. Call of Duty Cold War assets look better on Warzone than they do in the regular core game. Nevertheless, it's just sad to see this because you have something that you could have brought back the masses with. Like the Black Ops series is outstanding and known across the community. Everyone loved the series. But then you have this. The campaign was dope, zombies is dope, but the actual multiplayer is trash. Let's just be completely honest. I do think Warzone would be able to keep it up for a little while. However, if something comes out that is clutch, that is outstanding and way better to play, yeah, Call of Duty would be right down the drain. I'm just putting it out there. But that's it. This is the current state of the game. What do you think? Have you played it? Do you like it? Will you be joining me on Warzone for another year? Let me hear it down below in the comment section. I have begun streaming again right here on YouTube. I don't have a current schedule set up for it, but am in the process of working on getting one together. So definitely bear with me. This man worked for a living and that obviously takes precedence over this. So I tend to be busy, but when I can, I will try to jump on here and make it happen. That being said, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely leave a comment down below. Appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one.